Hi, I'm Brianna Hamm, and I'm an instructional designer for academic technology. In this video, you will learn how to set up a discussion in Canvas. Discussions are a great tool for creating student interaction and engagement. Having students participate in discussions can show instructors how students are analyzing a topic. Discussions are one little thing you can integrate into your Canvas courses to help stimulate students' thinking. Starting in your Canvas course, click on the Discussions link located in the left-hand navigation. To create a new discussion, look for the dark purple plus Discussions button located near the top right of the page. First off, we will want to add a title and the content for our discussion. In this title box, I'm going to make my title Environmental Impacts of Fast Fashion. In this next box is where I'll provide clear instructions for the discussion. I already have a discussion created, and I'm just going to copy and paste it into this box. You can see my directions are listed clearly, and I've also added links to resources I want students to review before commenting. You can also add images, links, or videos in this section. Now, let's jump down to the Post To section. By default, it is set to everyone in the course, but you can change this to be for different sections. If you want to include content that is a file, such as a PDF, you can use the Attachment field. Click the Choose File button and navigate to a file you wish to attach. Moving on, let's quickly review our discussion options. If you want students to be able to reply to one another's posts in the discussion, you will need to check this Allow Threaded Replies box. Typically, we do want students to reply to each other, so we would want to hit this box. If you want a student to add their own reply first without seeing their classmates reply, you would check the box beside Users must post before seeing replies. This feature can help prevent students from being influenced by what other classmates are saying so that they provide their own original ideas to the discussion. If you want to create a podcast feed of student replies that you wish to share outside of the classroom to a wider audience, click Enable Podcast Feed. I'm intentionally going to skip over the graded section. If you want students to be able to like comments similar to social media, check the box beside Allow Liking. And if you want to add this discussion to a to-do to student calendars in Canvas, check the box beside Adding to Student To-Do, and then select your date. Once you are finished, or if you make any additional changes in the future, always remember to click the Save button on the bottom right of your screen to ensure your options are saved. As you can see, discussions are quite versatile and can be customized to your course needs. For example, you could create a simple discussion for students to introduce themselves at the start of the semester. Utilizing discussions in your course is just one little thing you can do to create an opportunity for student interaction. You can find more information about Canvas and other pedagogical tools on Academic Technology Support website at athelp.sfsu.edu. Thanks for watching, and I encourage you to check out more videos about one little thing.